Thank you, Steam. Verify Blade and Sorcery. Dude, if we verify Blade and Sorcery, I'm gonna lose all my mods. It's not fun. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's coming, boys. Oh. Mm, that's odd. It's coming. Maybe in the next uh, few centuries it would be nice. I even deleted a bunch of mods. There we go. Took your sweet ass time, dude. Uh, please do tell me how the audio is because... You know... So how's the audio? Is it too loud? Too low? Because uh, I want a new machine, I don't know. Oh good, nice. Gucci. Professional. Professional gamer. Alright, Kaloran, as, as cool as your lightsaber is, we're gonna go with uh, Gar uh, Garen Mar Malex. I forgot his name. Garen Marek. Gimme. Put that there, actually. Let's get one of these bad boys. And then we shall... Oosh. It's impressive how I actually know where the location of all this shit. You know what I mean? Here we go. Nope, come back. Alright, cool. Does it have Revan sabers? It does have Revan sabers right now. Best part of this mod is turning Kylo's lightsaber into an RGB saber. Oh yeah, because you can edit each individual color. It's, it's kind of cool, actually. Uh, we do have... Or not we, but the, the mod does have Revan's lightsabers now. Malak, Dooku, Nihilus, Revan. I think it only has one? Because he had a second, right? He had a second that was that had, was like kind of bladed at the top. Uh, just for performance reasons, we're going to go here because uh, I've had unfortunate circumstances. You know the the blades look really weird when you're moving because of the uh, the lightsaber trails they added. <clears throat> I think the dev feels knowing his game is essentially a Star Wars game now. I mean. I mean, I, I'd be kind of pissed, but he's probably pretty happy, I would say. He's probably like, oh, cool, damn. Mods are keeping my game from being crap. <laughs> Controversial opinion, Blade and Sorcery is not a good game. <laughs> that is until you mod it, and when you mod it, it becomes a completely different game, and that's why it's good. <clears throat> They're the same hilt, different colors. Easy peasy. Did I disable force push? No, I didn't. <laughs> force push is kind of gimmicky. Doesn't really work. I'm just fighting words, boyo. No, it's okay. Blood and sorcery is okay. I do think it really gets put, like, a level above when you mod it out, though. Jesus, fuck. Well, at least I got my lights here the right way around. <laughs> I know how to use force push IRL. Fart into your hand and throw it. 
Force push in this game, or in the mod, is kind of janky. Because it basically relies on your movement. Like, you can't use your- oh, you, you can't use your hands, but like, it's kind of jank. So I just tend to do that. You know, move myself. Which is cool. Well, I see ya. <laughs> he was out. Oh, I almost blocked that. Oh, shit. I did it again. You know, that's, how, that's how Blade and Sorcerer be. You knock a bunch of shit. Dude, my, my phone is going crazy. My phone was like, holy shit. We're gonna die. No, it's fine. It's not a little party trick. Shimmy killed... <laughs> that would have been such a cool throw too. I know, right? You're the only one. It's a shame that it also throws them when you try to recall your lightsaber. I also wish that didn't kill them sometimes. But oh well. By the way, best place to block if you're playing with lightsabers, it's always here. This is how you block. This is how you block basically every attack they throw at you. You can block pretty much everything with this. Maybe you make some minor adjustments here and there, but... If you do just want to block everything, that's how you block everything. All their attacks go there. Oh, I'm moving. Oh, see ya. More force jeet than force push. Well, none of you like try that. Quite a workout, though. <laughs> I love it when it randomly procs. I mean, all that uh, EA hasn't jumped on VR yet and hasn't cranked out basically this. I'm mad. I'm mad that EA hasn't cranked out a VR Star Wars game yet. <sighs> By the way, I am actually using Sharp AI. So these guys are working on Sharp AI. So, even then, they're not that, that smart. Uh. 
Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Isn't that one like 10 minutes long enough? There is a VR Star Wars game, but it's Oculus. You're gonna be trying out the Walking Dead VR game? Probably. Probably, yeah. I will try it at some point. Didn't even hit me. Jesus, I do got freaking pushed. There's a Falcon repair game, is there? Oh, right, yeah, that one that they released like three years ago. That was kind of like six minutes long. It wasn't very interesting. Let's get tag demo. Basically, yeah. That's like a true tag demo. But I'm honestly surprised they just haven't made one yet. It's so easy, dude. <laughs> No, don't try that shit with me, dude. Oh! Lightsaber wasn't even on. Can I drop a link to it in chat? Sure. Not my lightsaber. Doesn't have to win. Yep. I played that not too long ago. By not too long ago, I mean three years ago. It was okay. See you Friday. <laughs> Stories we are getting one about is an episodic story bits based on Vader. I heard that that one was pretty short and pretty not good too. Jeez, you guys having fun? Here, let me make some room. Jesus, that's a fast swing. See ya. <laughs> what kind of game is it? I haven't seen much of it, but it looks like it's okay. I still think this does like a better job than any VR game for Star Wars is gonna do, honestly. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't have my saber up. That was the cleanest chop ever. I think I unblocked that one there. What else do we have? 14? That's fine. I haven't really watched anything of it. It's very mad game. It was just the the uh, the bit in Rogue One with Vader extended. He went for the toes. Alright, let's go to a, a different map, a more dynamic map. Oh! Let's see, go to this map. This map's pretty good. <clears throat> I'd be sick of done right. It would be. Did make you feel like an old powerful, so there was that going for it. Why don't we give uh, Kylo Ren's a shot? Personally, I think the best lightsaber in this game. I think it's the best. Because if it hits them, they're dead. Oops. Sorry, monitor. I will move a little bit further over here. This is also where we can use force push quite well. Now, I can't do good lightsaber just because it's that awesome. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Although I think Kalorans is the most effective lightsaber. Oh, well, there we go. But it's not my own weapon. Fucking takes out a gun. Who needs to come when you can just do that? Oh, 
Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Just making sure I know where I am in my room. I like to see like that has one massive flaw. We do have wrists, you know. Yeah, but who needs them? my lightsaber. It's time. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah, yeet. Yeet. Man, I wish that was more climactic. Wish I had more oomph to it, like, oof. Instead of just oof. I love uh, just jumping and turning on my lightsaber and swinging it. Kind of like Battlefront 2. Where in Battlefront 2, if you use your lightsaber midair, you gain more height. Or you gain more distance. So. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, you run Blade and Sorcery well. I don't. <laughs> you think this is running well? This is like 70 FPS. It's like the bit where Pals jumps out of his chair. <laughs> Do I have to run at his 600 or something to get a smooth frame right? Ah, god fucking damn it, dude! My freaking hand, ow. Why do I do this now? Stop. Why am I hitting my shit so much now? Ah, ow. Shit, my bad. Where is my lightsaber? Right. Give me a single second. No, turret balls the game. Uh, I don't know what that sound is. Alright. Because uh, I have a wrap on the floor. Well, I have a wrap that I meant to put on the floor. For VR. Basically, it lets me know where I am. Put it down. Alright, so if I start to move out of this wrap... Well, shit gets ugly. <sighs> Yo! Come on, give it to me. Sorry. I've been hitting my shit. I'm still readjusting my... My play space. Well, I guess they're just gonna yeet. Bring a fajita wraps on the floor. See, I keep trying to pull them towards me, but like, they just like smack onto the ground. In order to pull them towards me, I have to like... Oh, that's lucky.
Well, you're fucked. Nice try. I'll have you know I am actually guarding my shins. Fuck your face so hard the hair glitched. Again, if you want to block everything, that's how you do it. If you do this, this is just how you block. You'll block pretty much everything. Where's everyone? Oh, it was used. Good job. Come on. Swing at me. All right. Nice hit. You ever heard about NSA releasing a public advice urging everyone to update? I have, and I did update. I update, update just before I started streaming, so... So here's a, a small PSA. If you're, uh, if you're on a Windows 10 PC, get the newest update right now. It just released, basically. But there's a new update, and you're gonna want it. Because... Without it... Uh, malicious software can be installed in your PC automatically. So, this is January 15th, 2020. If you haven't updated your PC yet, do it. Uh, I don't want any of your PCs getting broke. I just had to experience my PC getting broken. It was not fun. Update what? Update earlier. What CPU do you have? Uh, I have kind of a shitty CPU, to be honest. It's a... It's a i7-4770K, I think, 4790K, update Windows 10, yeah, update Windows 10. There's an update for it earlier, yeah, you're gonna wanna update it, cause it's, it's mighty useful. Uh, that's a pretty good swing. Jesus. Jesus, where the hell is everyone? Big ass map. Oh, I missed. Yeah, so the force push in this game is basically determined on which way you're moving and not way you're pulling. So I can go like that and it won't work. Nothing... Nothing works. Oh, no, never mind, it does. I'm lying. But it's a lot more effective if you do it while you're moving. So basically moving actually just does it automatically, so it's pretty easy. I wish they didn't die from it. Who's first? Good job, idiot. They totally shouldn't die from it, though.
Ooh, I like how they fall down the stairs. Uh, I think this happens because of sharp AI. Oh, sharp AI, AI makes them walk faster to get to you. And when they do that, they just fall over. What the f- I didn't even do anything. I literally did nothing. He just went like, look at this dude. All right, you wanna fight? Oh, nice hit. You actually hit me. As you can see, my performance isn't exactly fantastic. I'm sure mine's updated. I hope so. I would check again because it came out on the 14th, I think. So if you haven't updated your for, uh, your your PC since the 14th, then you're gonna want to do it. People are also saying that it's actually cross compatible with, or that people might find out how to do it on older operating systems. So funnily enough, it's kind of like a win for Microsoft because if it truly starts getting reverse engineered and people start doing it on older systems where they can automatically install malicious software on your PC without your consent, then that kind of means that Windows 10 is the only viable Microsoft... Oh shit, the only viable Windows version you can have. Which is kind of crazy. It's a, That's a good thing for them, but like... Not exactly a good thing for the consumer. How to make everyone use lighter windows. I mean, it could be a ploy. You never know. They could have done that on purpose. Oh shit, it's Obi-Wan's lightsaber. I love this lightsaber. They got so scared they ran away. You see that? And they should have updated. Windows usually has an other update thing. Uh, sometimes it doesn't do its job though. You know, this is not the lightsaber to do that with. Which is great and bad. Never does job for me. You see, look at them just gliding along. It's really kind of funny sometimes. Gimme. Look at that frame rate. Sick ass frame rate, dude. You think official governments will use Windows 10 instead of XP now? I mean, XP is pretty damn secure still. And again, if you're not connecting to the internet, it's fine. Is there any way to check? There's a, there is a way to check if you've updated or not. Look at that. Look at that. V-Sync issues. So basically, uh, oh shit, hey. You go to the top left corner of your, no, 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 no. Bottom left, sorry, my, my taskbar is on the left side of my screen, so I have to go top right. Basically, go into the start menu, click on the, like, the, the cog icon, basically the settings, and then it should have, like, an update and security thing. Or just, you know, search on Google how to update Windows 10. Custom version of, of X, uh, XP to make an like, auto fix. They have their own custom firmware and shit. 
The task board should have an icon next to it saying such if it needs updating. Not true. I checked mine today and it told me that there wasn't really an update in the, in the bottom corner. And then I went to check myself, personally, like manually, and it was an update, so... Oh god, the bridge. So much shit in the bridge. Get out of here. Whoa! I'll have that. Man, I kind of wish that they, they, there was more uh, AI in this. How do you unlock stuff like Force or whatever? Or is that mods? Mods. Yeah, it's all mods. Just easy mods. Is 1909. Yeah, I wish there was more variance in Blade and Sorcery. It's why I kind of don't play it that much. It's kind of boring after a while. You know what I mean? We kind of just do this same thing. Plus, you can pretty much easily kill them all just by, you know, counter-attacking. When they attack, you just counter, and then, like, chances are, if you know what, what swing they're doing, you can easily just kill them in one hit. And you can also just, you know, block, counter. I have a challenge fighting more than one. Fighting more than one is kind of cool sometimes, but... You know, actually trying to block more than one at once. It's kind of a kind of a challenge. So we guess we should wait for them to get off the fucking ground and start moving their asses. Also, the problem is when there's more than one of them. Shit! Oh fuck! Well, there we go. <laughs> That's how you deal with all three of them at once. If there's more than one of them in a row. Like, if they're trying to attack you, they never attack you. Because they're they're all kind of, like, stealing turns from each other. Where they're like, hey, we kind of need to, you know, attack you. <laughs> Solve that problem. So, like, they never attack you if they're in a group. See? So that's kind of the problem there. Do they always attack me in a group? No, they don't for me. They're super aggressive on their own. But when they're not on their own, they just freaking stand there. I get buff fucked by them. I mean, if they're on the opposite side, it's it's. I think it's vicinity to each other. So if they're on opposite sides, then they they're quite difficult. Hey, this is cannon. This is the cannon way to hold this lightsaber.
I need a Shoto Saber for this. Good job, idiot. Wow, you actually got under my saber. Oh, they're the jewel bladed ones. There are jewel bladed ones, but they are freaking annoying as hell. Oh, how bad? Pretty bad. The kind of junk. God damn it, dude. It's so freaking hard to move these things. They're jank. They're mega jank. Cool thing though, you can actually do one saber at a time. So you can actually do the Darth Maul freaking entrance thing where you just Hold the fates intensifies. You know what'd be really cool? If when someone sliced down your lightsaber at like a perfect point, they chopped in half. You can also use this as a really long bladed, sorry, long handed lightsaber. Oh, see ya. I, I would have been hit by that. I'm getting hit by everything. Turns out the Windows update stops people being able to access your webcam now. Imagine having a webcam!
And again, the most effective thing to do is just use one lightsaber. Although it's pretty cool having a massive hilt like this. No. Oh. Let's go back to the more close range map. You don't have tape for your webcam or have a webcam then you're asking for it. Pretty much. Watching these morons kill themselves by falling off reminds me when me and Kira were playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 and cope with a friend and the eye fell off the edge. Let's go. Let's go here. God, get it. Shaky hands. Whew. Dual cool. I was actually enjoying that. I didn't know they actually, they're not that jank anymore. They're not as jank as they used to be. Because they're actually quite a little bit wieldy. You can see the delay a little bit. They're much better than they used to be. They're much better than they used to be. Why don't we... Hmm. It's a shame we can't really do, uh... Actually, we could do blaster things. Yeah, blaster. So sometimes enemies can come with blasters, depending on what mode you're facing. Blast them. Don't know what the hell these little tiny Voldemort looking things are supposed to be, but. Who knows? Shame this freaking sucks, dude. Tame. Blasters seem cool. Blasters are pretty cool. I mean, I wish they, like, worked better. This would be 106. I suppose they're not intended to be used. I mean, they're in the mod, so...
Not sure what that dude was doing, but, you know. Kiss me. Now, oh, come on. Uh, endless. Blaster in one hand. Thingy in the other. Do you guys block this? They don't. Oh shit! Well, they're fire modes. Yeah, these guys don't block this shit. It's a shame. They really should. Still a good shot as I've ever. ever. Blast lightsaber, heretical to Jedi Order. Good thing I'm using a Sith, light, Sith lightsaber. Are you a nerd? Nice shot, me. Is Lantern in the most recent Windows version? I don't know. Yeah, it's a shame that these guys don't actually block this stuff. Oh god, update ASAP. God, it's hard so hard to aim. Just do it one handed. Let's see. So if we get, let's see. Dude, I forgot you can do that. You can hold it by the scope. All right, so wh why don't we get a Star Wars blaster then? Or like a pair of blasters. Only well, Stone Jewel has such accuracy and position. <laughs> what else could we use? Let's get cycler rifle. There's no fucking way you're using that. Zero percent chance. All right, let's go with two uh, two uh, EM ones. How about that?
put one down here, and then we'll spawn a big wave. Can we get like mixed? I took free for all. Two Han Solo blasters. We could do that. Han, it's Han. Fucking all the lag. Jesus Christ, the frame rate! It needs to be stopped. Jesus fuck. Where are the the more private soul of the hut? Well... That's why I don't spawn a billion enemies at once. I promise me when you get money you will upgrade your CPU. Uh, I have to upgrade my motherboard first, to be honest. Oh god, you guys spawn quick. Man, this is with smart AI turned on as well. These dudes aren't very smart. Or sorry, sharp AI. These guys aren't very sharp. Can we climb shit? Yeah, we can. We can grab onto whatever we want. Yeah. 
Ah! He did the all swooper, the swoop around. The whoosh! There's no bridges for me to throw people off. How much does your vibe pro collected? Uh, pretty much as much as possible. I have not opened it since, uh, or I have not used it since I got the index. I see, 90% of the time you can just attack them while they're attacking and you win. I wish they'd do other attacks. works. I never intend to do it, but it always always ends up doing it anyway. Ugh. Man. I should probably try out some, uh, some Blade and Sorcery normal stuff. Just grab like a dagger or two and just play the game as it normally was meant to be. I still think the AI is probably the biggest problem this game has right now. The lights are where everyone laughed at. I quite like it. Honestly, I hope that a uh, saber locking comes at some point. I think that'd be a cool thing to add. Program into the AI to uh, to saber lock every now and then. Jesus. I expect them to go to a side swipe, not a underhand swipe. 
By the way, do you want to know the single strongest move you can make in this game? It's that. If you go like that, they typically can't block that. Because I played this for I played with this mod for so long that I kind of know the in and out of it. For like the AI just can't really block that attack. They can dodge it, but you know they can't block it majority of the time. Especially if they you know are dumb and start attacking themselves. That was the first sign of someone actually being smart. Where he was attacking constantly. Your legs didn't get shredded? Who are you talking about, Wallace? <sighs> yeah, typically speaking, the, the, the attack that they can't really block the best is that one. Where if you kind of go for their arm. Because then they kind of try to block you one way and then like... You end up attacking another way. Also that. If you just go for an overhead swipe as soon as they're finished attacking, you win every time. Easy peasy. So I tried to do a little bit more interesting things. Let's see this. Uh, it was probably a little more interesting because I'm using a, uh, a secondary mod, the night training mod. It's kind of like an add-on to the uh, to the arrow rim mod. I think it'd be a lot more interesting if they didn't actually instantly die when their saber touched you. Or sorry, when that when your saber touched them, because uh, if you just have outer rim installed by itself, they don't die instantly from lightsabers. In fact, the lightsabers are kind of treated like normal swords. But if you have the uh, the Jedi uh, Knight training mod, the lightsabers act like real lightsabers, and they kind of just chop them in half. But I think it'd be, it's a lot more interesting when they don't, because then you'll have to do a lot more. You can still play it like this, where you deflect every attack. It's just that you end up needing to have like more than one opening to actually kill them. Also, they don't die instantly from getting a tickle on their toes. And that's probably the biggest problem I have with it, is... Where you just kind of do this, and then they're dead. That's all I really need to do, just go across their uh, their saber and go down and they die. Basically they die too easily, TLDR, but it's a fun mod. I mean it makes blade and sorcery worth downloading to be honest. If you ask me, it is kind of not without mods. Oh well. Let's have a look at some of the normal weapons they have. I've forgotten about those. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, I still feel a little bit jacked, but you can fix that with mods. Oh well. What else do they have? That reload? Hmm. 
I'm not sure what that does. Oh well. Epic. Cool. Ah. Oh. Well, never said I was good with it. We got a bunch of helmets. What is that? Oh! It's supposed to be Kylo Ren's helmet. I see. Uh, it doesn't look very Kylo Ren from the preview. Probably because of the hood. I to guess. I also can see. Here we go. Weird. Take it. Oh well. <clears throat> yeah, fun mods. Fun pack of mods. Move this over here. Oh shit. For the world, Jesus. Oh, no. And we're back. No, Steam VR, come back. Please. I want you to, to, to go away. Here we go. <sighs> yeah, fun mods. I probably won't play much more uh, Blade and Sorcery because it gets old pretty fast. I mean, even in just in this stream alone, I go pretty old. But uh, I like to play it every time the new or the, uh, the mods get updated. Every time there's a new update to the Rim or the uh, other mods I have installed. Uh, uh, Sharp AI, uh, I haven't installed and I kind of feel like it does nothing. <laughs> I feel like it honestly just kind of does nothing. At all. Kind of makes them walk faster. That's about it. Shame. Just hoping for something a bit bit uh, more conclusive, a bit more big. Oh, why is this so big? Oh, no, never mind. I was like, why is my uh, my stream background so, so big? But it's actually just the Steam VR thing. All right, all right, we're done. We're done for now. I will see you tomorrow. I'll be streaming Dragon Ball Z Kakarot then. Uh, otherwise, Blaine Sorcery is pretty fun. So, uh, I probably won't stream it again, though. Not until the mods get updated. Oh, well. Alright. See you later. Thanks for watching.